Hey guys, it's Lego Man 7777 with another review. This time on Luke's Land Speeder. Set 8092, 163 pieces, ages 7 to 12, and special edition. Alright, you got your people, six people, and your art. This will be the last set with this logo before the new ones. Then you get your Freako Speeder, your two battle packs, and other stuff I'm going to show you. Sorry, I think the camera's going to die, so that's why I'm kind of rushing a little bit. Starting off with the people. You got R2-D2. Nothing special except he's got a gray head. You got... Uh, C-3PO, just like the one in the Tainted 4 that I want, but I I don't know, I might get it or not. He's a different color than the Sandcrawler. Um, you get a Sentry Droid. He's essentially four pieces, and then three clear pieces, and I put a stud just so he could stand. Otherwise, he just kind of floats around. You get a, uh, a sand trooper. He's pretty much just a plain storm trooper with this new black pauldron. And then he's got a backpack. It's, uh, it's five pieces. This piece, two little clips, and then two lightsabers. And the thing about him is with that thing on, his head spins fairly easily. So Then you get Pansy Luke Skywalker. The only good part about Luke is he's got, well not here, but he's got printed legs. If I can move my big hands, he's got printed legs. And then you got Obi-Wan Kenobi. Both Obi-Wan and Luke have dull chrome lightsabers. They come with it. Alright. On to the land speeder. Here it is. You get seven of these things on the bottom to make to give it its little drivability thing um, you get your you get three engines the, the one that's you know been broken and replaced with the different kind of engines right here yeah on the inside you got two chairs and then there's your steering wheel for where Luke sits you get this awesome windshield piece and uh, one of my favorite parts are these gray tubes that you bend to fit into that place. I think that's pretty cool. Alright, and in the back, the only feature it pretty has besides the sliding, is you take this part off, and you have your lightsaber compartment, which I'm going to use show you right now. Put your lightsabers in there. Yes, it also fits the blade, too. It's made for that. And then you put that back on. And I watched some other reviews, and some of the complaints were that there's no place for R2-D2. I don't know what people are talking about. There's a place for R2-D2. But all right. First, let's put all the rest of the people on. 3PO. And then just like 3PO, on the other side, you spin R2's head if you want. I do. And then R2 stands right there. Woohoo. R2's got a spot. And then you got that classic scene where there's a stand in there and he drives by and the sand trooper's like, uh, I don't even care what he says. And then Obi-Wan's like, um, these are not the droids you're looking for. And then he repeats everything and then they just cruise on. Subtle humor. <laughs> Everything. Um, this is this isn't a set for people for little kids who want a whole crap load of playability. I mean, yeah, you can drive it around and everything, but you know, if that's all, that's pretty much it. And the lights, everything. This is meant for more serious collectors. I think it's pretty cool. All right, time for a comparison. Sand Trooper, move. 
Yeah, I'm talking to an inanimate object. <laughs> like he can listen to me. For the droids, we will compare it to the Assassin Droid Speeder. Um, the Assassin Droid Speeder is like maybe like half an inch longer, and the Land Speeder is probably half an inch wider. All right. And for the clones, da -da -da -da, we have the other special edition set. The Swamp Speeder. The Land Speeder's got about an inch and a half on the Swamp Speeder. But the Swamp Speeder's got a little, probably an inch in the width of the Land Speeder. Show us side by side. By side. <laughs> Alright, so that's the side by side by side for all three. Can't even see the Assassin Droid speeder. Well, too bad, no one likes it anyway. Because who needs an army of Assassin Droids? Not me. But, um, these are both the limited edition sets for the first wave. And that's pretty much it for the land speeder. Uh, check my channel. For upcoming, for the other reviews coming up, and um, just get ready for the summer reviews. It includes Plo Koon, Starfighter, General Grievous, the Starfighter, Palpatine shuttle, and the Clone Turbo Tank. Well, you know, those are the ones I'm gonna get first. Then I'm gonna go back and get the Wampa thing. Oh, I forgot Cat Bane Speeder. And then I'm going to go back and get the Wampa Cave, the Slave One, um, the AT-AT, possibly the mini, mini Scaled Star Destroyer. I don't like, really like those too much, so I might not get that. Um, and then whatever the Ultimate Collector set is, it's supposedly going to be an Imperial Shuttle, but, you know, who wants to try an Imperial Shuttle? And it's, it's minifigure scaled, so they can't really even make it that big. It'd be like the Imperial Landing Craft size, and, and it's not a UCS. So maybe it comes with like a hangar, and that's the reason the at is coming out. So you can do like that Endor scene where the at, -AT comes in, and then Darth Vader and the officers come and take Luke away and whatnot. But whatever, that's me rambling. Um, thanks for watching, and well, yeah, that's pretty much it.